Hello and welcome to our next lesson, our tutorial number 15. And in this one, we are basically going to deal with calculations in queries, like even in the previous one, we dealt with calculations, but we're just introducing them. Now we are going to deal with more calculations in queries, and at last we are also going to look at the update query. Now here is the question that is going to lead uh, us into all this as we try to explore and see what we can do. The question right here, we are given a table. Uh, we are required to create a database called Shure Medical Clinic. And then create a table quality staff data. Uh, then we populate the table. Then we are given instructions down here that are going to help us uh, come to what we want. Uh, create a query that will return uh, given that tax is calculated as 15% of the salary and salary in the following year, in the following year is increased by 10% of the total salary in the previous year. Now remember we have here what we call the salary and then we have what we call the total pay. Oh, this one should have been total pay in the previous year. So if this is the current year, then for the next year, salary is increased by 10% of the total pay. Then uh, we have instructions asking us to create a tot uh, query that will return total allowances and by every staff member. Uh, the tax deducted from every member, from every member's salary, we save it as tax. Total amount and new salary and the increase from the old to the new. And then we create an update query. I mean create a query that will automatically update a table, filling up the empty fields with the records that they need. So these are the fields we're talking about. These ones here are the empty fields right up, up to this point. Whatever is not filled in here is what they want us to fill in. And we're going to be looking at that in our tutorial. So we have here our table that has been already created. And uh, in this table we have the, step, uh, the staff table. And we are going to uh, use the instructions given to see that everything, that we bring everything to what has been uh, asked of us. Now, the first instruction says, create a query that will return the total allowances and by every staff member and save it as staff allowances. So if we come to our, if we come to our query, I will just close off this. So now the query says, or the instruction says, uh, total allowances and by every member, staff member, save it as staff allowances. Then we go and, uh, but they've told us we have number of days and then allowance per day. So we go to our database and then we come to total allowances. But remember we're using query, so we're going to create a query. Query design, we add fields that we want. Uh, then perhaps I may need only, I may not need all the fields, so I add only those that I want. Profession, uh, maybe salary, um, allowance per day, then duration. Yeah, those are the only fields that I want. So I go to, or then I come to total allowance, since I need total allowance, then I come and say, uh, and uh, total allowance, what do I need? I want it to be calculated as now, remember uh, yes, so we're going to uh, say this is the same as uh, allowance per day times number of days or times duration so we're going to say in this field it's allowance as in our database allowance per day so don't forget the word per day because it's part of it's part of the field name per day okay then we close that timers what should it be multiplied by timers duration so we again say duration is an existing field so we say times duration and what is it also like? It's in days. We come and say days. 
and we close that then we close the outer bracket let's try to run this and see well it is not returned anything that means we did do it the right way so what we need to do this is not supposed to be typed here so where do we put it we shall cut it out we shall cut it out and then come right here uh, we'll just zoom this then I'll come and put it right here I paste it there allowance that's per day times duration that's number of days yes then I say ok and I run so we can now see that the allowance has been returned so that's what we do now I want to do it the first way to show something we do not for such calculations we don't put them right under criteria no criteria is only for something that is already existing and you want to just make a choice out of what is there but for this case we use what we call i mean we type it in actually the field header name i mean field name header okay that's done so we save it as they told us to save it as allowances I'm going to save it as allowances and that is okay so we come to the next one the next instruction says remember this is our table so we can even close off this table actually because it has nothing to do with what we are doing uh, then we need uh, total allowances we have saved it as staff allowances well then we need the tax it's scheduled as 15 percent so we go back to our uh, database and create a query come to query design what what are the fields that I need I need maybe uh, the customer details uh, the profession I need a salary mm. then I need what else I need uh, the tax I will just go directly to tax because that's what I'm looking for tax now that means when I come here I'm going to capture the tax so I come to zoom, I come and zoom this or oh, this word tax is uh, with two X's but it's fine for as long as the meaning is out then uh, we're calculating it as what a salary salary times 15 percent 15% is the same as 15 out of 100. Now, just take note of this. Database does not understand percentages. So you have to convert that percentage to a fraction. So I'll take it as 0 0.15. Please take note. That is what we do. That is what I've typed. 0 0.15, not 15% database doesn't recognize percentages so I come and say okay and run this one and here the tax is so I come and save this one as well I save save it as tax okay uh, then I close it off what is the next query the next query that should be created says uh, total amount and by every staff member save it as total pay so we are going to capture the total amount and total amount can be calculated as total i mean a salary plus the total allowances so we go and do the calculation so we are going to query design we're going to add this time round we need uh, we need Uh, perhaps let me add most of the fields allowances uh, any duration uh, well I may need the duration uh -huh. I may need the total allowances mm, then the tax and total pay I'm going to end on total pay I think yes the fields I need then I come now remember I have total pay 
but in this one here if i may just run it you see total allowance tax and total pay are all not cultured that means we have to reculture them again now we just go and uh, come to total allowances we know what's what's supposed to be for to, what's the what's supposed to be done for total allowances uh, we are supposed to multiply um, allowances and this is per day times uh, duration times duration uh, duration is in days then that is for uh, that is for what total allowances then I come to tax Oh, they're telling me it contains invalid syntax. Let me just check. Okay. This. I think that is it. Oh, I, I, let me first run this. So it's an invalid syntax somewhere. Total allowance. Allowances. Oh, I didn't open this. Okay, so that is done. Come to the next is tax. I zoom it as well. So zoom, and this is given as. Uh, salary salary times 0 0.15 okay that is for that then total pay you know total pay is given as uh, salary plus total allowance minus tax so I come and say I come and zoom this zoom so total pay is equal to um, salary salary oh, sorry plus uh, total allowance total allowance uh, then minus tax remember our tax is with double x so this is tax that's how it's supposed to be close that and it's okay now let's run this and see whether it's going to give us the results we need allowance party that means this allowance party does not exist anywhere so we come and look for where we put it um, where we put it we ca we're calculating total allowances Zone. so let's see allowance per day do we have anything called per day uh, so we don't have anything called allowances per day it's allowance per day so you come and say okay and run uh, and all of them have been returned as you may see the tax is here uh, then we have the total pay it's right here well so that is what we do for that now we come and save it as total pay. If you had not that, that, done that, then it wouldn't display because total allowance is only in the other query and not in the table. So we come and save it as total total pay. Well, after saving that, we now go and see the next instruction which says uh, new salary. A new salary earned by every member in the new year save it as the new salary so what am I going to do I just want to use the previous query so that we save a lot of time 
I will just go back to this query because I mean since we already have a field existing so I will just go and open total pay then I come to design view I'm going to add another field it's called the field is called uh, new pay and I'm also going to add increase so those are the two new fields I have added so new pay I'm going to also catch it from here new pay is equal to uh, remember the salary has been increased so it has been increased by 10% that means it's now 110% so I'm going to say this is the same as total pay total pay but it's a field that is existing so we put it in square brackets total pay then times what times 110% same as 1.1 then I say OK and finally I come to increase. Increase is equal to uh, new pay. Increase is the same as new pay. New pay. Uh, new pay times or minus the total pay because that was our previous pay. So this is total pay. Uh, then we say that is what we need for this one. Oh, sorry. So it's supposed to be here. And we run this. So when we run this, we are able to get every value that we need. And there you go. So we have the new pay. And then we have the increase. So the increase is the difference just between the previous and the new pay so this is what uh, we needed for all those uh, queries now we have one last instruction which is create a query that will automatically update the table filling up the empty fields in the table not in the query we have filled up the empty fields in the query but now we want to fill up the empty fields in the table and this is called an update query now let's go to our question and see to our table so uh, this one is already done I can close it off now I'm going to go and create one last query that's query design that's the table we're dealing with now I'm going to go and choose the staff table uh, no, I don't need to choose the stuff table. Sorry, close. I just want to add all the fields. Now, since we are updating the table, this is called an update query. We are going to go and make it an update query. So we say update. And here it's telling us update to. So I come to the first one. Total allowance is the first thing that we have to update to. Total allowance, we said, is the same as allowance uh, but it's uh, in square brackets so it's allowance per day this is per day remember you have to type in the way it appears in the table then uh, timers duration duration is also existing and this is in days Days uh, and close that. I don't know whether it has been uh, smart. Mm, we forgot something here. That is uh, that's uh, yes, that bracket closing up that point. Yeah, and it's now done. Then we come to tax. Oh, they're telling me it has something missing. Maybe let's just go and zoom. I see. Oh yes, that is, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so we come to the next, which is tax. Tax is captured as our salary. So this is an existing field, salary. Um, multiplied by, I can zoom everything so that people see what I'm doing. Multiplied by the zero point. 0.15 which is 15% then yes okay 
then I come to total pay which is we say it is uh, total uh, uh, salary plus total allowance minus tax so we are going to say this is uh, this should be updated to um, salary time I mean plus total allowance whether it's allowance total allowance yes close that then minus we are minus we are subtracting the tax so we say tax but our tax is double x so that is tax it's okay then we come to new pay we said new pay is the same as remember we are updating so new pay is the same as what is the same as total total what total pay total pay maybe it has to be in square brackets it's an existing field uh, the time was 1.1 because it was increased by 10 percent then finally the increase we said is the same as a new pay new pay minus total pay total pay mm, remember this has to be in square brackets as well has to be in square brackets and even square brackets here so we put the square brackets after that we say okay we know now everything has been put right then we come and run you are about to update 10 rows we say yes update them then we come back and take it back to select then we run and uh, our table has not been updated as required total allowance is what we are having we are having tax total pay and new pay then increase have not all come so we can see where the problem is now we go back to update and see new pay So we see, uh, let me just check and see what happened. We'll go back to update and see. For new pay, we come and check new pay because tax and total pay have been displayed. Uh, total allowance and tax have been displayed. So we come to total pay. We said it's the same as, if we zoom, we see uh, salary, total pay, then minus tax, then that we say, okay. We come and try to run. Updating, yes, we try to update. We go back to select and run. Oh, they have all been displayed now. Yes, we've not changed anything. I think it was just an error in the program itself. But now we can see that everything has been updated. So this is our table now. So we come and save this query. Uh, I'm going to just save it as update query. Update query. Now we want to see whether the same is going to be in our table. So we close off this. Then I go to the table. And in our table, everything is right there. So I just want to change the, the current uh, name. We come to allowances. I, I really don't want I, I I want it to be in general. I don't want I, I don't want the dollar sign how it says format I just want it to be a general format general format uh, duration of okay, currency total allowance I want it to be just general uh, even tax I want it to be just general what currencies because I've not looked at currencies yet. Total pay, I will just change it to general. I want them I, I want them to I want the look to change. I come to even this one, I just want all of them to have a general format. Uh, yes, the format should be general even for this one. I save the changes that I've made, then I go back to my table and this is how my values are now looking like. So that brings us to the end of this Listen and hope everyone has been following uh, critically and trying to see everything that we've been doing. 
that is our table you can add just these fields here or the size to view everything or the whole field name yes you can adjust them the way you want and see the whole field name so that brings us to the end of this uh, lesson or tutorial i remember we've been looking at calculations in queries and we have also been looking at the update query and we have indeed looked at it so let me hope everyone has been able to understand thanks for watching and wait for more to know more about uh, these, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel with Jude Moses. You'll find all these videos right there and you'll be able to enjoy them. Thanks for watching.